Oh hi guys, it's a bit miserable here in Thailand at the moment, a bit rainified and a bit cool the northeast monsoon set in. Anyway, no further ado, let's get on with this review unboxing. This is the QZ SD Q-02 ball mount. It's from Lazada, I bought it from Lazada in Thailand. Cash on delivery, 700 baht. And Delivery is right on time, in fact it was early, and I always recommend Lazada, they're brilliant. You could do, you know, PayPal or whatever, you can loads of different ways of payment. But this for me, to pay cash, then you actually see what you get, is brilliant. Well here's the package, um, I've opened it to check everything, but this is what it came in. It's uh, not very grand, uh, but uh, I'd only had to travel a short distance from the depot here in Thailand. So, plastic bag, not bubble wrapped. A plain cardboard box with a bit of sellotape around it, like so. Open that up, and inside we have the ball head in a zip bag. That's it, no bubble wrap or anything like that, but then it's a sturdy piece of kit and it's probably shipped in bulk to Thailand from China, so, you know, I should imagine the outer packaging had some sort of bubble wrap or something in it. Anyway, let's open the bag and just check it out. It's a nice piece of kit, it's cheap, and um, one could say cheap and cheerful, but it's not. It's beautifully made, lovely smooth, I guess it's out of cast aluminium, or aluminum, for you in the US. Um, and we have the 3 8 thread there, and we have four levers here, four uh, knobs. Now, the larger one here, locks the ball. We, we take the ball like so. We take the ball like so and this knob here locks it in place and it, it's it's not a sudden lock. It, it, you can you know really tighten it up it's good. And this knob here uh, applies tension to the ball when you're rotating it. So if you're if you're taking shots of say uh, stars or something like that you can ease that on a little bit and just gently turn without sort of the, your camera or your equipment wobbling all over the place so that that's that's good and this is this uh, uh, one here this little lever here is for rotating now on this one it's quite stiff which doesn't bother me one bit I'd sooner set it on the stiff side and wobbling around all over the place now this knob here, the one with the bubble in, as you can see it's got a spot bubble for levelling which is quite good and another bubble here, you can see that, there's the other bubble, so I mean that, that's quite good, Those bubble levels are quite helpful, if they're accurate that is, I've never had a problem with them. So if we undo this um, screw here, we can take off the plate, like so, there we are very simple uh, and that's a quarter inch uh, thread there, that's a quarter of an inch and here, I don't know if you can see this very well, but here we have two um, pins uh, which are uh, screwed in with an allen key or a hexagonal um, uh, bar, whatever you want to call it in your neck of the woods. Now what they do, they can be removed incidentally, but what they do is when that is put on the actual ball head. If you loosen that up, it prevents the camera falling off. So you, you can adjust that backwards and forwards a little bit, not much, just a little bit. But if you just undo this uh, knob lightly, that prevents the camera falling on the floor, which you know, even if you've got a cheap camera, 
You don't want to drop the bloody thing, do you? <laughs> I don't anyway. <laughs> so that's it. Now, it's good. Uh, it's good. I, I, I can't fault it. Now, the reason I got this one um, is because I already have one. And I guess it's made from the same factory. Now I'll put that there so you can see that. And this is the one I bought in the UK. Um, about the same price, I think it was about 20, 20, 22, 23 pounds, something like that. Now, it's exactly the same. And I've used this one to do some astrophotography on my Star Adventure, and I, I, it, it's, it's good. It's good. I mean, it would be been better if I'd had an inch and a half or an inch and three quarter ball head, but I, I couldn't really afford that, so I went for this one. And it's it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. The only difference is is the are na uh, the names on the front. There we are. The names are different. That's the only thing. Um, the reason I've got this one. Uh, not so much as a backup, but so that I can mount two cameras on the Star Adventurer uh, easily. I, I, I did manage with one, uh, it was okay, but it wasn't really satisfactory. So now I've got two bull heads that I mount on my um, Star Adventurer for a bit of astrophotography. That's it, I, and uh, you know, for the money, you just can't fault it. But I, I would have, as I said, I would have liked an inch and a half or a two inch even, but that's way beyond my uh, budget I'm afraid. What else can I say about it? Well really, I, I mean, I, I obviously researched it like we all do when we're purchasing online or when we buy anything anyway. We, nowadays it's easy to research on the, uh, on the web. Um, and I sort of, I went through everything. I know there's some firms, or, well, uh, branded and unbranded, that are doing uh, sort of bull heads at ridiculous prices, you know, I mean, I, I just can't see it. This is so well made, I couldn't fault it. I couldn't fault it. There you are. That's simple. Another thing which I failed to mention actually, which is a bit remiss of me, um, here we have a scale. It's graduated each way from 0 to 180 degrees. So I mean, that may be helpful, especially for stargazing or something like that, or you've got something you're uh, working on in a distance you want to focus on. That might be helpful, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at this bubble level here again um, that's used for when you have your camera in a vertical position to get it level so I'll just show you that now there we are there's the camera in the vertical position there's a bubble level showing the bubble exactly in the center or is it <laughs> anyway it's only a demonstration so it doesn't really matter does it anyway it all works well Okay, hope you enjoyed this video folks, if so please give me a like or a thumbs up or something or whatever. Okay, have a great day and enjoy yourself.